Next, uh, we know all about the potential hazards of climate change, of course. Warmer temperatures could lead to rising sea levels and huge disruption around the world. But there are uh, consequences uh, that are positive too. There are places where climate change is providing new opportunities, as BBC's Tim Allman explains. When you think of wine production, you probably consider countries like France, Italy or Spain. Well, how about Norway? This is Sonja Fjord, which is on the same latitude as Greenland and Alaska. But that hasn't stopped Bjorn and his wife setting up their own thriving vineyard. Here we succeeded in growing 55 different types, like Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. For me, as a wine peasant, climate change is positive because the weather gets warmer. In the last few decades, average temperatures in Norway have increased by more than one degree Celsius. By some estimates, that figure could go up by at least another three degrees by the end of the century. But according to Bjorn, the impact is already being felt. The seasons are getting longer. They start earlier and end later. The days are so long and we have 30 to 40 percent more daylight than in France. For now, this is still a small operation, producing only a limited number of bottles. But crucially, what does it taste like? Good, a bit acidic, says this man, but really good. Bjorn is ambitious and believes within a matter of decades there may be vineyards all over the country. Isn't it fine? Norwegian wine. Tim Allman, BBC News.